Hello, this is Craig from Bizbox.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint the flesh of a uh, Beast Claw Raider's Ogre. Um, in this case, it is the Frost Lord, who I have right here, and ready for me to paint the rest of his details. As you can see, the skin is done, and that's obviously what we will be showing you in this video. So, um, the first clip um, messed up, so I don't know what happened there. Um, so, um, the video will start, um, we'll go straight into um, the first base coat layer. So um, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here is our ogre. He's had his um, base coat done. So yeah, there's a bit of a mix, sort of mess up on the camera. So um, I don't have the first clip um, that I filmed of this, but um, he has been given. Well, first he was given a primer of the army painter um, leather brown. Then I have base coated his skin. You can see we've got the arm, head, and the back. That was base coated with um, Bugman's Glow and I mixed in a little bit of Avalanche Sunset. I think it was roughly um, three or four parts Bugman's Glow to one part Avalanche Sunset. So I'm sort of going for a little bit of a yellowing in the skin. And this is because I want my ogres to be sort of quite heavy drinkers. And um, for those of you who may know, um, if you drink too much, it's not good for your liver and that can cause a little bit of a yellowing on your skin. Um, my ogres probably don't care much about that. But so yeah, that's sort of what we're going for. So that's why I've mixed in a little bit of Avalon Sunset into the base colour. So next up, we are going to shade all over this flesh, um, unsurprisingly, with Reikland Flesh Shade. I don't know how well he's gonna stand up here. So this guy, um, as I mentioned in the first clip, which we no longer have, um, he's a Frost Lord for my Beast Claw Raiders. So he's gonna be sitting on top of the stone horn. So I'm literally just gonna work this flesh flesh wash all over all over the um, flesh areas. Making sure it gets nicely into them recesses. So as you can see now with that shade um, settled into the recesses, started in the skin down a little bit and gave us some really nice definition and all the muscles and such, so it's really cool. And um, what we need to do now is just lighten the skin back up using the original mix, um, which was Bugman's Glow, about three parts, back to one part, and a land sunset, that will give us a nice slight yellowing to the skin. As you can see, um, at this stage it's still very, very subtle, which is what we want. We don't want him to like, look yellow. So, that was probably, probably a bit too much yellow in my mix there actually, so I'll just quickly bear with me guys. I will just go back and just add a little bit more of the buttons below into that mix. As I said, we don't want looking like, yellow. Um, this is quite thin. So I'll probably do a couple of thin coats. And I'm just leaving all the shade in the recesses, so we're not going to go over any of the recesses, just all the flat areas. A bit too much on the brush there, that just... So there's quite a bit to go around, so I'm going to just be working my way around that. And then we can move in to the highlights. So as you can see now, um, we've lightened the skin back up. And it's now ready for some highlights. So we're going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone and also some Avalanche Sunset. This is about a 4 to 1 mix. There's not much Avalanche in this. And essentially we just want a not do a fine highlight on all of these and we still want the majority of the skin to sort of be this lighter colour but we are going to leave some areas still close to the um, some of the areas close to the recesses we're going to leave um, the original colour 
also trying to sort of think about where the light would maybe hit the skin and we're going to try and hit them areas. I'm keeping the paint quite thin as always. Certainly important with skin to have thin, thin paints for smoother transitions. And whilst I'm not going for a completely sort of natural look here, it still helps sell the effect. Be careful when you get too much on the brush when you apply these thin coats, but sort of work around. I should have um, really sort of neatened the arm up a little bit better when I was building this miniature, so I apologise for that, but you guys get the general gist of what we're painting still. So, I'm going to finish this step, and then we'll be back. I'll just add a further highlight. So as you can see, the skin has really taken shape now. So we have just one final highlighting step to do, and that's just to take Kislev Flesh. So this is just pure Kislev Flesh. It has a lot less red in it than the Cajun Flesh Tone. And this is essentially just going to be like, maybe on the muscles just do a fine, fine highlight. That's so awesome. No, a bit too much there, but... Just a fine line. Just follow on some of the tops of these, bottom of these muscles. On the fingers, you can do the knuckles. On the face, I'm gonna leave the the lips. I'm just gonna catch a little bit on the chin, just the end of his nose, just little puffy eyes. Very focused with um, in this highlight. So again, just run along all the joints on the fingers, and it'll dry. Obviously, it'll dry a bit darker than this. So as long as your paint's thin, don't worry if the highlights look too. There's too much contrast because they will dry um, lighter. So I'm just going to do his back. And then there's just a couple of extra little steps that I'm going to do. So as I said earlier in the video, I want him to be a heavy drinker and have a yellowing of his skin. As you can see, it's maybe not quite the effect that I was going for. Um, it looks a bit more tanned than anything. It's sort of a slight yellows, yellowness to it. And um, if you want more yellow, um, you can actually take a glaze of Lamenta's yellow. Um, but really, really thin this out. Now I did do this on my other ogres. Um, these glazes are quite thin as it is, but I'm really thinning that out. I'm putting a lot of water in there. So essentially you end up with just yellow water, essentially. And then apply it thinly all over the skin. As you can see, um, just adding a very, very soft yellowy tint to your skin. Now, of course, um, you can build up layers to get the exact effect you want. Um, which I advise um, doing that rather than just sticking on a really heavy layer. I think just a one layer is fine. And with a glaze, really spread it out. You don't want it just to sit in the recesses. You want it all over the skin. So I'm going to let that dry and I might just have another 
bin coat as well. We'll see how that looks. And then there's just one final step to do before he's complete. So there is just one last step to do. As you can see, um, we just have slightly yellowy on the skin. Still very subtle, which is what we want. And the last step is to take some Screamer Pink. And he has a little sort of scar up here. Um, now thin this down, I want to make sure there's very little on the brush. And just carefully run that just sort of around his scar. So it's quite thin. And you can see it's all just it's all like a wash around his scar. Like so, um, you can see that I got you guys can see that alright. Also with the screen pink, I'm going to water it right down, similar to our previous glaze. And I'm just going to apply some on his nose. You could also do it to your cheeks um, if they're visible on your ogre, but it just gives a little bit of redness to your nose. Again, another symptom of his heavy drinking. And of course, um, you can add a, another layer if you want it to be a bit um, darker. Just add a very small on it. Like so, I'll probably add a little bit more to the end once it's dry. And here we have the final ogre. Well, fresh at least. So I'm really happy with how it's um, turned out. I know everyone will be a fan of the darker and lines in the recesses, and that's a sort of like stylized approach I like to use just to really uh, make all the details stand out. But yeah, then that's how I paint uh, Ogre Fish. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you have, um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and we're still having our subscriber giveaway, and there's a video for that on our channel you can check out. All you've got to do is subscribe and comment on that video and you can be within a chance to win lots of good um, prizes. So yeah, um, if you have any other suggestions for painting tutorials then um, please do leave a comment below. Um, I'm starting to run out of ideas so I'm just sort of painting stuff that I'm sort of just painting anyway. Um, you will see my og ogres in our upcoming Path to Glory campaign um, very soon. So um, all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.